Yeah, this new Oxbow light we got on our helmet. Oh my god, it's so freaking sick. It's on half power, which is like less than 50% it feels like of, of its like juice. And man, it's so bright. It's so awesome. I honestly really stoked with this new headlight. So sick. So this is how we're gonna spend our Friday evening. We got Luke back out for the first time in months since he blew up his bike last time. We got a brand new freaking awesome Oxbow light we're running for tonight, which is gonna be really sweet getting into this wet, rainy night ride. First, we gotta climb up this mountain face. Wow, this tire is unreal. Now tonight we're about for a bit of a test and tune, if you will, before we go on tomorrow for us is a big ride, which will be next weekend's video. But uh, yeah, we wanted to make sure everything in our equipment was all ready to rock and roll for our big adventure coming in ne next week's video. Honestly, this shot I think looks pretty freaking sick coming down this mountain face. Hell yeah, boys. Man, I'm so impressed with both these tires and this light right now. Super stoked on how they're performing. Super stoked. This is where I feel like the static balance challenge helped a lot. Woo! Woo! Hell yeah, dude! This is what it's all about. December Christmas weekend riding. Oh, I love it. Need another gear, boys. For those of you who don't know, we just put a set of gummies on the bike, both front and rear, and it's absolutely fantastic. Man, this is so much better with this damn tire. And man, my static balance challenges is helping a lot. That's probably the smoothest I've ever ridden down that section. Yeah, this Oxbow light is worth every freaking dime, I tell you that much right now. Beyond happy with its uh, light output. So, so stoked. Right, and I just got a battery pack that's in my, goes in my little backpack, comes in this super nice carrying case. This like really nice long cord, even with a little extra extension cable. I don't even think I have it on the highest power. I'm just trying to make sure I have enough battery. So I have light the whole ride because I didn't get to charge it before we came out. Oh, dude, this is, it's crazy. It makes it so easy to see. Or normally I'm just freaking riding blind with this headlight. And it's nice because it's looking where you're looking, not where the bike's looking. This is a pretty deep creek. Oh, that's max brightness. Now I can really see. Hell yeah, boys. This is a lot of fun. Toss her down into second gear there. sesh hell yeah dude yeah, i love that now it seems like more than ever i just use second gear and it's beautiful now and you're just at that certain speed it just keeps going now we have swapped the front sprocket from 14 tooth down to a 13 so we're running 1351 gearing and it's so much better it doesn't want to stall out on you so nice 
Yeah, 10 out of 10 would recommend this light. If you guys are interested, I'll put a link down in the description for it. So sick, way better. I had just like a standard work lamp, little headlamp, little energizer one. Yeah, I thought it was all right. Then I took it out, realized it sucked. This thing's just amazing. Makes you want to have these on the bike too. Put one on the bike as a headlight. Then I can keep the, uh, the OEM headlight bulb for street, street legal activities, quote unquote, right? And then you want some extra light, you just pop one of these on, it just hooks on with a GoPro attachment. God, this bike is so much better with these tires on it now. Yeah, we got our buddy Luke out back with us. It's been a, like six months since he's been out because he blew up his KTM there. He's got a 2023 KTM XCW TPI bike and uh, he blew up the piston with like a hundred and some hours, put a new piston in it an hour later, or sorry, it blew up with an hour on the new piston that they put in. And uh, yeah, it's been six months trying to get parts and rebuilding it and stuff. And he just finally got it out. It's Friday after work. We're just sending it out for a mission. Make sure it works before tomorrow. We got a big day of awesome riding coming. So you're gonna wanna make sure you're tuned in for uh, next weekend's ride video on the channel because it's gonna be sick. We've been working on trail for a year and a half and it's finally ready to ride for its first time. So tomorrow we're gonna go and test it out, see what it's like, it's pretty gnarly. Solid. Some of you may have been watching that we're doing this uh, static balance dirt bike challenge. And uh, I thought I'd just throw in one of my attempts here where I'm fully loaded up on gear, boots, helmet, all that stuff. And we're just uh, static balancing on the dirt bike right now. We're standing up on the pegs and uh, bike's not moving. We're just keeping her balanced. And it's a good little practice here. It's really been helping out on my riding now more than ever, especially riding enduro stuff. It's just really teaching you how to keep your balance. And it's definitely worthwhile trying. If you haven't tried it out, I definitely recommend you go ahead and give this a shot. <laughs> oh, what day is it? 56? So after tonight's ride, I went and decided I want to work a little bit on my circle wheelie practice that Unqualified to Ride gave me that challenge to do for 2024. And I'm a little PO just because I did my first 360 and I didn't get it in front of the camera. 